Okay. Shit, what can we expect from you in the next three to four months? Shit. Uh, I'll say I'm working on a tape right now with bigger producers, bigger artists, um, like bigger underground artists. Um, I'm just trying to really, if there's more events, I'm really trying to pop out more, more press ones, more, um, like I just recently dropped the EP yesterday, Saturday morning, right? So I'm gonna drop a whole tape, I'll say later this month, and just really sh like show out, like really show people my sound. <clears throat> and shit, I was at a fucking, Friday I was at a MK um, fashion show, so I'm always at model events as well. So if I ain't modeling or at fashion events, I'm rapping. And so to expect just more shoots, photo shoots, more press runs, and more music. And for real, it's more everything, music videos too, and more drip, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it, bro. Like, what's coming? Like, y'all need to follow me so y'all can really know who I am and really yeah. fuck with me, see my style, see who I am and shit. Like, for real, for real. And then, of course, more work with Kane. We're gonna be locked in heavy. <clears throat> So how long you been on uh, A and R? Man, dog. Honestly, niggas will not believe me, dog. But I low key always been an underground A and R. Like if you was in twenty seventeen to this point, you know what I've done in the underground. Yeah. You know what connections I made. You know who I plugged. I don't have to name drop. I don't gotta say too much, but you know. <clears throat> but officially this year, I really. I took on A and R like seriously, but a couple of months my first role being an A and R was actually at Dash Radio. I'm actually one of the only people in the world that actually was an A and R in Texas for Dash Radio and the NBA, because my radio station Wolf Club was a part of the NBA uh, mix that they do at Dash Radio, which is based in Los Angeles. And if you've ever been on Dash Radio, you already know what's going on. So I've been on my radio show for two years strong. He was one of the artists I was playing on there along with many other uprising stars in the underground. I was also one of the first people to um, <clears throat> premiere the single um, Love Songs by, uh, you know, Cash Page, you know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. Cash, Solid, you know what I'm saying? She always show love, bro, you know what I'm saying? And a couple more artists, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, you know, the blue cocaine is the, you know, a lot of female creators, like, I got love for a lot of the female creators in the industry, because, to be honest, y'all work harder than the niggas, and let's be real, <laughs> I'm going to work at, <clears throat> but, um, my series, you know, I, I like to say I really came into my role seriously, as I've been doing with Industries TV, you know, shout out my brother LA, you know what I'm saying, shout out Zay, they over there working, we've been killing everything all year. That's probably the most serious A and R role I had as well as being an A and R and marketing rep for you know the great official loud and you know loud fest you know what I'm saying that's here in Texas you know what I'm saying coming up right and for real if you ain't shit, gonna I... go sign up go check that <laughs> link in my bio you know what I'm saying go get them submissions don't do it for us too late if you saw loud fest last year you know what's going on man it's great talent over there look. Live Zero, Live Pioneers that's really playing a part in legendary status in Texas, they out there. So man, go tap in. But I've only been doing this AR for a year. Okay. And it's a lot of people been doing this shit their whole life and been doing what I've been doing. And I'm just thankful and humble that I've been playing the right parts and position to be able to role play like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We running audibles <laughs> and yeah. football or something, you know. I'm just glad to be in the right position and for that's sure. pretty much where I'm coming from. I can't wait for Love Fest too, bro. Um, they still haven't added the date to it, but it should, should be. Should nah, be a it's, it's, it's a it's a December. It's December. a December, but uh, a lot of people have been going it ahead of time. That way they get their spots in because y'all understand it's people putting in submissions every day, five hundred to a thousand. So you just think about that. The longer you wait to put in your submissions, that's less of a chance you got to get picked. But the blessing about Loud Fest, you get plugged with all this media. Yeah. It's like 10K worth of media for you and your brands mm -hmm. just to get exposure and out there. So even if you don't perform, you crazy if you don't come just to network. Or show out. <laughs> or show out in general. And I don't know about you, but $25, and that's just the lowest, you know, possible submission. 
for about almost 10k worth of media yeah I'm, I'm gonna put that 25 dollars submission in i need yeah. that ticket me and the other team i'm gonna just go ahead and buy the ticket you know? yeah but yeah i got mine already yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're not the only one <laughs> what you waiting on yeah <clears throat> so shit would you have any advice for anybody that would want to be an a Find what artists work for you. Um, basically, find what artists work for you. That way you can push them to these brands and, you know, network them in the spots you're trying to get in. That way they'll be able to, you know, be more established and get you faster to the places that you're trying to get. Because let's be real, you know what I'm saying? That, like they say, you're always one person away from the person you're trying to meet that could possibly change your life. So why would you play with that? You know what I'm saying? Go, get, go find you some young artists. Or whatever artists work for you, R and B, techno, I don't care what the genre is, find yeah. your sound in your lane and work your move. Don't don't wait, you know what I'm saying? Make sure all your paperwork and shit is legal, you know what I'm saying? Don't be going out there going to go get people and have them out here crazy, you know, do your research and know what you're looking for, you know, and you know, get some experience with the game, you know, take some resumes and do a couple of, you know what I'm saying, you know, protege tips and you know what I'm saying, intern a little bit for a few people to get a couple of things under your belt and experiences. So when you're pitching yourself to go work at certain labels and stuff, they're more willing to want to take you in as an A&R or even plug you into those situations so that you can be official A&R. Cause I'm gonna tell you like somebody told me before I came in official A&R, not an A&R until you were the real label. And that's facts. Or working with a real label in some type of way. It could be indie, it could be mainstream, but you gotta be working with a real label. That's yeah. the only way you really an A&R. But yeah, man. That's, just a, that's where I'm coming from. Sure. And besides that, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. I literally... So my iPhone Rose Gold 6 two years ago and got $40 running this shit and flipped this shit into what it is today. And this is living proof. You know, you can interview any one of my artists and go you know, chop it up and whatever, bro. They'll tell you all the shit we've been here to get to this point. Even my CEOs that started this shit with me, <laughs> they know what's up, man. Shout out to all the CWS and my agency. I never signed to another agency. Why you say that? What's a what is an agency for those who don't know? Could you explain that? <clears throat> an agency is supposed to provide everything basically a label would, but it's yeah. not a label. From your media needs to, you know, your distribution to, you know, getting the artistry right, you know, with you know, making up an artist and branding, you know, if, if anywhere from, you know, photo shoots to clothing and looks, you know, because imagery is very important in this industry that we're in, you know what I'm saying, that look everybody talks about mm -hmm. all the time. Sure. But also make sure, you know, your ducks in a row, you know what I'm saying, do not hesitate on, you know, opportunities, you know what I'm saying, especially with an agency, always network and build and form your, you know, your whole, you know, thing around the right people, whether it's a good photographer, a good graphic designers, basically everything a label is supposed to have, that is pretty much what an agency has. But agency also does most of your booking. People don't get that. Agency is literally for booking, you know what I'm saying? Everything you possibly need. <laughs> I don't care what it is, they are booking it. If you don't have an agency, if you're talking to a label and they're not talking about going through a booking agent, you hear agent, agent, agent all the time. It's an agency. And that's pretty much what it is. That's why I want to see the CMF agency because I'm plugging everybody in at the same time. I'm getting plugged in, and we busting down networking, and with that being said, we booking everybody. 